25th of September 2024. This is a video in that in that series that I do on the Buddha must talk. Now, this video is primarily aimed at the black people in South Africa. Yes, and I say black people, I'm not going to differentiate in tribes. You all know that follows my channel that I am committed to the issues facing the Boer tribe. But there's another reality in South Africa that we cannot ignore. And that is the fact that black people has allowed powers to amalgamate and implement laws and regulations that is primarily aimed at destroying people. Now, if you look on Twitter, you will see there's a number of black posters there that are clearly in a different class when it comes to intelligence and they have insight and awareness of what's happening around them but most important is they have the ability to think objectively now in the black community you have this situation that the cabal labels every black person that voices opinions that contradicts the mission of the cabal. They label them as clever blacks. Now for the white people that don't understand that properly, what this black cabal is doing to the so-called clever blacks is exactly what is being done to whites in general. These clever blacks are being isolated by the cabal machinery and then they are ostracized, they are silent, they are criticized, they are ridiculed and they are treated as if they are the enemy of the blacks. Where in reality it is these clever blacks that as a collective has the potential to make a huge difference to the lives of ordinary black people. I want you to listen to this guy's words. So Kabonena Alfred, Alfred on Twitter, he's one of the guys that are being severely attacked and he is mostly attacked by the low IQ militant black keyboard warriors. People attack him that where they, the attackers, don't have the intelligence that Kabunena has. They do not have the insight that he has. They are not close to be on his level. But they are empowered by the masses, by the mob. And that is sad for the black people. Listen to his words. The reason why everything is not working in South Africa is because everything circulates around the black race. And the black race is corrupt. They hate laws and rules. Black people must have been the laziest thinkers the world has ever seen. Since 1994, everything was circulating around them, but they achieved failures and not prosperity. The worst part is that the corrupt black politicians are using the race card to steal from black people. Where are the factories? Where are our companies that benefited millions of rands from corrupt government during the pestilence? Where is black excellence? Why have over one million government farming projects failed under blacks? Why is every government department failed once led by a black person? We are our own enemy. Now, I can assure you that the comments on that tweet of his was absolutely mind-blowing. But what the black militants do not understand is that they are currently existing by the grace of Triple X. Because Triple X needs them to create chaos. Because it is in that chaos 
that triple X can steal without limits. Think about this. Cyril is now at the UN talking a lot of shit in, on that story around planning for our future. He's a black man, but what is he doing there? He is selling the future of you, the black people and your black children. That is what he's doing, because that is the instructions from his masters. But you don't pay attention to that. And if people like Kabonena Alfred warns you about it, you ridicule him. Look what happened in South Africa in the past 30 years. And unfortunately, most of these fucking keyboard warriors, racist tweeters, they did not experience the realities of a working civil health service. They did not experience it. They are only aware of the rubbish and the shit in which they are today. But they don't understand that there was a time when hospitals like Califong, like Chris Arney, were fully functional, fantastic institutions that provided top-of-the-line services to the black people, that Harankua had a medical school that were training black medical students to the same quality and level of the white students. You guys don't know that. But that has been destroyed, and it has been destroyed on purpose by this ANC cabal, because the ANC is under instruction of triple X. But you will keep on doing these things. What you must just understand is that the driving force behind all of this is money, and triple X is in charge of that. The South African industrial base was destroyed on purpose because Triple X want the raw materials so that it can be processed in their countries and the profits are made there and the profits are kept there. They could not tolerate the South Africa that was independent in processing its own raw materials. This didn't start now. This started way back. Cecil John Rhodes started it. The stealing of the raw materials. That was the main reason that the British Empire decided they're going to kill the Boer. And the Boer children were murdered and butchered in the concentration camps. But you blacks are unaware of that. And it was the Boer that fought them. The other tribe that also fought the British was the Zulu tribe. But what has the ANC cabal done over the past 30 years? With this Sosa breeding program, they ensured the destruction of black culture. And you blacks were too stupid to understand what the long-term effects would be of your culture being destroyed. All you had to do was to go and sit down and talk to a boor and let him tell you how the boor culture was destroyed by Afrikaners and triple X. You also have to ask yourself a question on the land claims. Why was the cutoff date 1913 and not 1900? If you can answer that, you will understand what your fucking future is. You don't have a future. And you must just look around how the cities that you gladly flock to, how those cities has fallen apart and deteriorated that they are basically slums and non-functional. You are now beginning to get a taste of your future with the problem with water. When the electricity was a problem, you could light a candle or you could light a paraffin lamp or you can light a fire that was what you could do. But if there's no water, you're fucked. And that is what is now being deployed. Weaponized water. But you are a racist and you will blame whites for all your shit. Meanwhile, it was you, the blacks, that empowered this government to fuck your lives up. Now there's a verse in Moses 6 verse 6 says, 
stupid people must suffer. But then we get to Moses 6 verse 7. It says that every person has the right to fuck his own life up. And you abuse that right. You have handed your life into the hands of Triple X. And you think Triple X is going to look after you. All you need to do is listen on the public platforms how they talk about useless eaters. Now, what is a useless eater? Primarily, a person that does not contribute to the economy so that Triple X can make money. You're a useless eater if you're in that category and they are going to destroy you. You must understand that. They don't have any shit with killing people. They do it. Look how they destroyed Libya. Look how they destroyed uh, Afghanistan. Look how they destroyed Iraq. Look what they did to Yemen. They killed over 12 million people in the Middle East. For what? For political power and influence and control over the oil. Now they're losing all of that grip now. The BRICS block is taking their stuff back. And we see what is going on in the UN currently. That meeting that is in the UN, you as a black person in South Africa must be fucking scared with the fact that Cyril is there. Because Cyril is selling your future and you are too stupid to fucking understand that. And that's where Moses 6 verse 13 comes in. Fuck around and find out. Now you've been fucking around and you're going to find out. But you will blame whites. That is your problem. That is not my problem. The white people, the Boer tribe will survive. You must understand that. The Boer tribe will survive. Why? Because the Boer tribe lives with their hand in the hand of God. And the history is full of situations where the Boer tribe fought against unbelievable odds and won. So you should be very fucking concerned and you should start listening to people like Alfred Kabunena. Kabunena Alfred. You, you'll have to listen to him because he's telling you the truth. There is that lady that runs the, the YouTube channel Concerned Citizen. I see she's also now under severe attack and she is extremely disturbed by it. But I've got news for her. That is your life. You have to adjust around that. What YouTube is doing to you is triple X commands. The fact of the matter is there are a million black children, millions of them, running around. They're not getting educated. What will their future be? They are, will be unemployable. There's a lot of blacks that are now bitching like hell about the fact that the Home Affairs want to grant 11,000 visas to scare skills. And then they say, what about the unemployed? The fucking problem with the unemployed in South Africa is they are not employable. They don't have the skills. They don't have it. And you blacks, you voted for that. You voted for this government that destroyed the education system. You voted for that. You cheered your youngsters on when they started burning schools. You cheered them on. You cheered the, the Sufi on when he destroys existing schools. You cheer him on. So you are cheering the people on that are destroying your future. Moses 6 verse 6. Stupid people must suffer. And that is the problem that you have. I am not going to get myself embroiled in your problem. Because it's only yourself that can save you. I'm not here to save you. I don't give a continental fuck what they do with you because you have empowered them to do it. So I don't care. And you call me a racist and all that shit. I don't give a shit about that. The fact of the matter is, you are in deep shit. And at the core of that shit lies the fact that you allowed this ANC cabal under instruction of their triple X masters to destroy your culture and with our culture you've got fuck all and you will see that there were a lot of guys that made a lot of positive stories and they were so impressed with that guy in Burkina Faso when he kicked the French out and all of that the problem is you don't understand that guy's IQ is most probably 20 points higher than your average and I see this weekend what he did now. They are no longer importing textiles for school uniforms. They've erected a factory 
that make school uniforms from textiles that they produce in their own country. And you look at it and you say, ah, oh, that's wonderful. But what you don't understand that is in 1994, you had a full functioning textiles uh, b uh, base in South Africa, which has been destroyed by this fucking ANC. Go and talk to the people in Southern Natal. Go and talk to the people around Richard Bay. Go and talk to the people in the Eastern Cape. What the devastation was when the fucking textile industry was destroyed by this ANC. They destroyed it. Why? So that they could make money from cheap imports and they didn't give a shit about all the jobs that they destroyed. Today, 45% of you are unemployed. 64% of your youth is unemployed. The tragic is that 64 unemployed youth will never be employable. Look what happens in practice. A young black that has got the connections will get a tender and the tender is a well-known tenderpreneurs and he gets a more of a lot of money. What does he do with that money that he gets? Does he go and buy a house, a comfortable house for him and his family to ensure that his siblings and his family has a, 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 a solid home that they can call a home, a base where they are safe from the elements. No, 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 he doesn't do that. He takes that money and he buys the most expensive car on the market. And six months later, you see the pictures in the newspapers and he's fucking wrapped the car around a fucking tree, dead. The money gone. Nothing to benefit his family. That's the difference between blacks and whites. When I was a young white guy, when I started earning money, the first goal I had was to get myself into the position that I could buy a house. After I managed to buy my house, my first house, only then I bought a better car. But the blacks don't think like that. They operate in this realm of instant gratification. But you must also understand, instant gratif gratification can evaporate instantly. So I've got a tip for you blacks that are struggling. Start looking at that collection of clever blacks in your own communities. Start listening to them. If you don't listen to them, you are going to fucking be destroyed by triple X. And you can see it already happening and I'm going to remind you again. The thing that they are now bringing into play is water and water has been weaponized. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.